Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'm uh, doing a review of the new dockyard ship. I'm going to probably just butcher this. The Almirante Oquindo. Hope I got that right. Probably didn't. Probably a good chance I didn't do it, get it right at all. Uh, so I was halfway through the grind. And it was the grind. So I decided to blew in the rest of it. So don't hate me. But this is one of the first ships I've come across where I play some of the skills a little bit different from co-op to random. Uh, I will say, uh, full disclosure, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I don't know what it is with the South American line or the Spanish line and whatnot. They're really good boats. The Japanese cruiser line I never did actually get to, except I didn't like it. But this one, because I'm an aggressive player, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this boat. She's got a, a 4203s. She's got a horrendous citadel. Ugh. Do not give a broadside or you're going back to port on a depth strike. She's pretty maneuverable. She's pretty fast. Good reload. And a lot of fun. But uh, as always, why don't we just jump into it and we'll go through the specs of the boat. Now I've got it spec'd out and I have been kind of doing different things. So let's go look at the armor layout. Not bad, 25 mil, 50 here. Now you go over here, you still have 40 there, but you have 100 at the top when you see this. So I'll show you in a minute here. And then of course, 25 in the bottom. Look at that. That's not too bad. 140 and you got 110. However, any, even a tier seven battleship like um, a sign up, do not give this thing a broadside. Okay, you'll get killed. Uh, Survivability is pretty decent at 48,300. I like it, man. Decent prote torpedo protection. I like it. Artillery, that's what I said. 12, 203s. She's got 11.4 uh, second reload time. That's because of some options I've taken, which I'll get to. 17.6 kilometer range. Her turret traverses the burst. And that's where that difference between co op and random is going to come in. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. She's got a 19% fire chance. Secondary, 7.3, no specs. It's pretty good. They're 90 millimeter. Good for taking out destroyers, in my opinion. And I have no problem with that. Decent fire chance, 6.5. Torpedoes. Two sets, three torps each side. It's got a, just over a minute reload, eight kilometers. They do really good damage, 16.6. 16, six. um, 62 knots, pretty fast, 1.3 kilometers. So I use them for as close as I can. Airstrike, two drops. I kind of wish this was about 25 seconds, to be honest with you. It'd be a little bit fair. Hey, hey forget it. Uh, maximum speed, 37.8, almost 38 knots. Rudder shift's a little slow, but it's not bad. A little bit tight. Concealment's decent, 11.3 for a tier 9 cruiser. I like that. She's got an 8.7 kilometer uh, penalty for firing at smoke, which is, eh, it's okay, it's decent. That puts her in the tier 8 range, kind of like the Auckland, the new New Zealand one, Commonwealth one, and 8.5 seen by the air, so be careful for planes, especially if you're trying to turn. Equipment, you guys know me, I always take main armor modification, if that's my standard thing. I do take engine protection, because you're going to get hit. So here's one of the first differences I take. Uh, I, I take aiming modification in randoms. I take main battery modifications so I get 15% tra traverse speed quicker in co-op because you're always, I'm aggressive in co-op, I just charge in and go boom, 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 have fun. So you got to make sure your turrets can actually turn. They cannot do, a, they can't match it when you do that without that. So I choose whatever you want, but that's what I would do. That's the one main difference I do between, say, co-op and random. I also do the same thing when I'm playing uh, operations as well. So you got a nice uh, heal there, sorry, repair, Concealment, and this is the other one, 12% reduction in reload time, plus minus 13 reduction traverse speed time. So I, I take that a little bit better, so it's not too too bad. I, I you, could, you could take this one, gunfire control, but the shells are kind of lofty, so ugh. I mean, I, I'm going to try that one out a bit more later on in some randoms and co-ops, but hey, got a great damage control. I love it. It's got a backup every, under, under every 57 seconds. Good for heals with it. It's fantastic. You're going to need them because you're going to hit. You can take AA, but I don't. I take Hydro and any kind of boat I can get my hands on because I'm aggressive and I go watch the four torpedoes. Planes, yeah. If it's a multi, it's going to kill me. That's just a fact of life. It is what it is. Now, you could take a fighter, but I took spotter plane. It gives you an extra 20% uh, of distance. So I, I that has sometimes come in useful when ships are hiding behind islands. But that's about the only time I use it. I sure as heck don't use it in the open. There's all my flags. And here's the funny button, the F button. You have a different characteristic. So if you hit this, you get a maximum uh, battery dispersion of shells of minus 20%, but your reload time goes up 42.3%. So I have actually not used this in a single game yet so far, but I might try the training room to see what I can do or can't do, but I'm okay with the reload as it is right now. So I'm, I'm happy with that and the damage. Exterior, uh, Wargaming's art department, you know, I've got to give them a thumbs up. Look how beautiful this camo looks and the detail of the ship. I love it. They do a phenomenal job. Captain George Talda, grease the gears, got to take it because the turrets are so slow. I do take gun feeder. I have switched between ammunition um, multiple times for multiple things, and it does help to go to hit the right ammunition. And coming fire alert, yeah, I want to see because I want to juke and jive. I'm not going to 
sprawl right beside you. But prior to targeting, I always do that. How many people are targeting me? I do take demolition expert because that's important to keep setting more fires. I do want more charges, so I take superintendent because I want to get more heals and more hydro. That seems to be important to me. Adrenaline rush, you guys know I take adrenaline rush because I want to be able to fire quicker and quicker. I do take concealment expert. That's important to me. Relocation, RPF, is must-have in cruisers nowadays, in my opinion, to spot submarines and destroyers. That's my opinion, but that's what I take because I think it's one of the most useful skills out there for this captain. All right, we're getting back into it. So this is a... Oh, this one, actually, I'm going to feature this random battle on my own channel with me. This is my battle. I'm playing away at it, and uh, it was an interesting, fun game. She's got amazing AP. I think this is the one where I just started. Yeah, the Charles Martel. I just wrecked this guy. Boom. Headshot almost. Like it's just wounding this guy. It, I ended up killing him later on in the game. The, the boat is phenomenal. Like the HE is good. The HE it does, you know, four, five, six thousand damage every time you hit, even bow on. AP is phenomenal. She's like heavy Des Moines kind of AP. And I, I love it. She just crunches cruisers. And the HE, that's the gun feeder switching back and forth. A HE is phenomenal for taking out destroyers. It doesn't matter. And when I will charge a destroyer in a smoke screen with hydro. It, it's, like I said, it's a good boat. Is it worth all the doubloons? Uh, yeah, I knew torpedoes were coming. That's up to you. You have to decide. I had an extra 50 some odd thousand doubloons sitting around, so to speak. So I decided to doubloon the rest of it. And after the grind, I'm not a big fan of the grinding, to be honest with you. Would I get this boat on full cost? Since I have the money and it's hanging around, yeah, I guess I would. Would I think it's something you have to get? That's totally up to you. Overall, I'd say this is a very well-balanced boat. It's not overpowering. It's not underpowering. It's not fantastic. It doesn't suck. It's just a solid cruiser. It's got good speed, good maneuverability, good guns. Grease the gears and whatnot. You're going to have to decide what you want to do, but you can see how slow the guns are moving. I would give this one a pass and saying, yeah, working. This is a good boat. I'm I'm very skeptical at doing that kind of stuff. That's that Charles Martel. I will kill him. I will say that, in all due honesty, I think this is, like I said, a well-balanced boat, and I, I do like it, and I'm happy I got it. I don't think it's a waste of money, because I play World of Warships, so it's fine. But hey, I can't really... The only thing I'd say it's negative is the Citadel. He's about to die here. The Citadel is about the worst thing you have to worry about. I'm trying to get the angles down. I'm, I'm struggling with that. And she's very acceptable to high explosive damage, too, for fires. So it is what it is. But hey, let me know if you guys are doing the dock here. If you've already finished, let me know if you got the boat. Um, leave a comment down below and remember to like and subscribe because the YouTube's algorithm loves that. <laughs> Got him. Headshot. As always, take care, stay safe, wish you all the best, and well, bye for now.